Hello everyone, this is Dan Desktop Sport and this video is about a Spiceworks portal training. Uh, who can benefit from this video? Uh, Spiceworks members who is already using this uh, software. New members who want to learn how to create pages or uh, portals in the company, share information. Just like if you work for, if you go to school and they have this little site that is for IT and you send the request and they answer you back or you, if you're working in a company they have a little small internet site that you work on and uh, share documents and stuff like that so well the portal the Spicer portal is a great tool um, but uh, you can do a lot of customization with it you can add some stuff you can add different third-party softwares to make it m make things that you that is not available right now you can make it work um, pretty much easily not too much involved in there so I'll be showing you guys this how to do that so the first thing I'm gonna go and um, and, uh, and again this is gonna be a part of Spiceworks training and I'm gonna be uh, doing a whole Spiceworks full training from the beginning how to install and how to do inventory and everything but this page will be added to the portal training so this is just for portal so you, when I came here, I already did the installation, and I came to user portal, and then I'm gonna do preview. Now this whole page comes with it, uh, with Spiceworks software. So all you have to do is to start go to the portal designer, and then from there you just added um, the stuff. Like if you click here, and I start editing here, and I can type in whatever IT page and then publish it so you'll see the changes over here um, other things you can remove stuff if I don't want people to log in or to get I mean I can remove some stuff you can add pages the good thing about this is you can add as like a lot of pages in there and this is the reason I'm, and it's gonna be very important for me when I show you guys uh, something different now this is basic stuff uh, you you probably know this stuff so what I'm gonna do is I had a uh, the reason I'm making this video because some people might use Spicer portal for a company and share a lot of inf information on it but we already like in my company I already have a portal uh, sh and I use SharePoint but here's the thing this stuff I want to use Spiceworks for my own personal um, troubleshootings and everything and and with my team I kind of shared it with them so but I don't want anyone else to access this portal and now this there um, I was looking searching for uh, some solutions but I couldn't find anything that can just stop users from logging in and you can use Active Directory but still um, I mean if users are there they're gonna use the Active Directory username and password still they can see it uh, so what I did I just wanted to create something that only I can access and my team can access and this is what I did and it's a pretty easy way uh, I would say like extremely easy way to get this thing start working so what I did I wanted to create a page that only IT can only access it so this is what I did uh, you'll do um, you'll just go and create a new page IT only create and you see that I didn't Click on password protect because that wouldn't make sense if you're not in an Active Directory. People can just type their email at any email address and they'll see the page, and that's not what I want. I want a username and password that nobody can access. So now I see, uh, oh, I didn't save it. See, IT only create, and I'm gonna add a content to it. Say welcome. And close and click here all right now I see it there okay so now what I want is I want to create something here that I just want my team member to see it home page I don't care people can access it that's not a big deal I can remove this stuff and just put nothing in here and just say like IT page only so for here what you need to do is I want to pass and protect everything over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and install another little piece, and that is HFS. 
HTTP file server. I'm gonna stop this so now HFS server yeah first link right here so you go here and now they have download which is 2.2 F this is the old version what what I did is I found out another one is pretty good there it's in a um, production right now it's a beta so if you go to HTTP file server you'll come back here click right here and then click testing built 279 and then download right here okay so start save so it'll come back here and I'll just running security scan on it everything is good and all I'm gonna do I'm gonna start running it so now I have another server that is running on this IP address with 8080 port in there okay now this is where the important thing comes in like you know this information I don't want to I don't want my company or other users to see it. I mean other users I want just only IT members to access these files now the best thing about this thing you can do a lot of things with this um, so what I'm gonna do is in this page IT only I'm gonna add a content and I'll iframe this link in there and that's just what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click on edit and then here I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll type this link or copy paste it okay this is where I did and I'm just gonna make it a oh, let's say 600 so I can see the whole page there you go so you got a HFS and you saw how quick this was this just you know, it's like 600 KB file you double click on it and you, it gives you uh, something to work on in your spice works so this should be running to see this page um, there are a lot you can do with this now now what I'm gonna do is let's say I want to add a folder that I just want to sh I don't want anyone else to just access it only me so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a folder and let's say I want to add this folder IT and I click OK and this is a real folder so I'm gonna click yes and now when I refresh my page and you guys can see anyone can access this file so right here you see this all these files are running inside my Spiceworks so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back here and then go to properties and here I can give this I mean this file I can give uh, access so who can it upload or who can uh, download these files or I can put like some restrictions I can put comments file mass I don't if I don't want any other files coming from outside to these folders I can put that down in there but that's something in detail I mean I can I can do a lot of customization but my main my main goal was to pass or protect this site only so nobody can access it only me and my team can access it and so what I will do is simply go here right click on it and set a username and password and I'll just put a Dan and then I'll put a password and I'll just click OK and I'll just minimize this this is gone now if I come back here and I click on IT only you'll see this is right here it's locked nobody can access this so I'll click on it and now if you don't have a username and password you won't be able to get see these files now on the other hand and you see this tells you the message too is pretty cool uh, on the other hand I can just go ahead and double click on this and right click on this and just give this the whole page a username and password I can take this away um reset username and password well, let me see if I can take this away 
okay yeah so if I want to put the page the whole page a username and password I can do that and then so as soon as when they click on this nothing they will see nothing in there so let's do this and I click here and I click on IT only boom um, username and password so this is gonna be this is very beneficial for me because uh, just a few days ago I went to the user PC and I wanted to do something and I wanted to access my um, spikes portal that I just made like right now uh, and I wanted to access it and I what I did I I framed some folders in there so I could directly open applications like uh, CC cleaner TFC all that kind of good stuff I wanted to open for my my iframe over here so and I didn't like that I went in front of the user and I typed in the portal name and then the whole CC cleaner and all that kind of stuff I mean I, I just don't want them to open it and start playing around with it because there's a there are other portable stuff that I really don't want them to play around with that and um, so what I did um, kind of like a tricky way but I changed the 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 portal name and I just came over here and uh, did the same thing and every time I go now I'll just type this in and like for example I go to user machine and I'll just go there and click on IT only and then I put my password and username and boom it's open now the user would never guess it I mean they cannot just go into this portal without a, uh, having this so it's kind of secure way for me to go and do troubleshooting right away and then I did some customization over here like and I can add stuff that what I did and um, it's very um, it's very easy when you have so many tools available on one page and then you can type stuff down and then what you did and everything in one page and and all that customization this was just a short video to kind of show you you can do a lot of stuff in, sp uh, in this portal with HFS I mean I love HFS because it gave me a powerful tool and now this it gives me abil ability to do things that I wasn't able to do just by installing Spikesworks so and this is pretty small so this will work for you but if you are looking you might have something else that is like kinda have more features and everything you can use that as long as you can iframe into this um, portal so this was a short video I'll be making a very um, it will be a big tutorial about Spikesworks, the whole Spikesworks, and I'll be doing all um, everything that includes in Spikesworks. So it's going to be a good training for new users who want who are already learning from my um, UDEMI course, which is a user support specialist course. Um, uh, this uh, this this is something that you guys can um, try out on your labs and everything. All right, thank you for watching. Um, see you in the next video.